For the arsenic test, you will need the two plastic bottles that come with the Operation Water Drop Kit, one of which is filled with the Canadian Guideline Standard Sample, 100 milliliters of whichever type of water you'll be testing, the color indicator strip, two arsenic test strips, and the three different kinds of reagents that are included in the arsenic test strip test kit package. To begin, unscrew the yellow cap from the empty plastic bottle and add in 100 milliliters of the water you wish to test. Next, unscrew the yellow cap from the Canadian Guideline sample water and add one packet of Arsenic 1 to each bottle. After you've added Reagent 1 to the bottle, Shake for 15 seconds vigorously up and down. Add reagent number one to the second bottle. And again, shake vigorously for 15 seconds. Be sure to keep the bottles upright while you are shaking. Next, unscrew both caps again. And add reagent number two to both bottles. Refasten both yellow caps and shake the bottles upright for 15 seconds again. We will now let the bottle stand for two minutes. Insert the arsenic quick test strips into the white caps included in the kit. Opening from the side that says open, being careful not to touch the cotton pad at the bottom of the indicator strip. You will remove the test strip from its packaging. And then you will insert it into the white cap up until the red line. Then you will fold it over and close the cap. Once it is inserted, you will carefully adjust the strip so that it's pointed straight downwards from the cap. like so. We will repeat that with the second test strip. Again, being careful not to touch the cotton pad indicator at the bottom. Inserting it all the way to the red line, bending it over, and closing the cap then readjusting the strip so it's pointed straight down.
Now that the bottles have been standing for two minutes, we will uncap both bottles and we will add reagent number three to each bottle. Once reagent number three is added, you will resecure the yellow caps once again and shake vigorously with the bottles upright for 15 seconds. Next, you will uncap both bottles and screw on the white caps that the reaction strip is attached to. Once these caps are tightly secured, we will let bo the bottle stand for 10 minutes. Now that the arsenic bottles have sat for 10 minutes, you will carefully remove the cap. and slowly removing the test strip from the white cap, being careful not to smudge the indicator, cotton test pad. You will take that test strip and compare it to the color chart. It should be near zero or five to be within the Canadian standard guidelines.